Hi y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, today is one of those days where I want to catch some fish, but unfortunately it's the weekend. And here in East Tennessee, there is a ton of boat traffic, especially pleasure boat traffic out on the water on the weekends. And I don't want to fool with any of that mess, but I do want to get a bite today. So I have come over here to the park and I brought one of my bikes with me. This is the Civ Rock electric bike. They are sponsoring today's video. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this bike to access some places to fish. I've got my ultralight rod. I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna ride it over here and fish the riprap over there by the bridge. And once I'm done there, I may go over here, hit the boat ramp way over beyond, beyond them trees over there that you can't see is Teleco Dam. I'll ride the bike over there and fish too. It's a good way to cover cover some ground and access some different spots. So if we come up on one of these places and people are maybe out there fishing or having a picnic or sightseeing or whatever the hell it is that people do on the weekends over here at these parks and the lake and stuff, if somebody's there, obviously, you all know me, I don't want to deal with people. I just want to fish in peace. We'll just go on to the next spot. We'll just be riding this bike all over out through here. Again, this is the Civ Rock electric bike. Got the fat tires, electric, got the motor, lithium battery, up to 25 miles of just electric only range. So long range, plenty enough for me to get out here and access any place I want to fish today. So big thanks to Civ Rock for sponsoring today's video. Now, hey, let's get out of here and go catch some fish. I got the bike powered on here. This is your electric assist. If you want to be pedaling and have the motor assist you y'all know me you know i'm way too lazy for that i'm electric only when i ride so what i do is just turn this throttle here and that's how you give it to gas man that's how you give it to juice just like a like you would if you was riding a dirt bike now it does have these shimano gears here seven speed if you want to if you're somebody more more ambitious than me and you want to ride this thing like a real bike hey more power to you me I'm over here to get where I'm going as quick as possible, have as much fun doing it, and have as much energy as possible when I get there. So I got my rod here. Let's take off and go. And we'll go over here first. I think that fella there, he's either sleeping in his car or he's dead one, I don't know. We're just gonna go right over here under the bridge to start. And I'm gonna work this riprap. There's a nice concrete walkway here. And we're just gonna throw it all this down through here, see if we can get us some fish. There comes one of them old, there comes one of them boats now. Boy, it's nice and shaded right down here. What do you think, y'all? About right in here? This look like a good place to start. I think this looks like a good a place as any. We'll put the kickstand down. All these boats going by, they can admire my bike. Look at that. that boat there, that old pleasure boat. They think people are envious of them because they got a boat. But I guarantee you they envious of me because I got an electric bike. Here is the bait. That's a one inch gulp on a 164th ounce jig head. Got my ultralight rod. Now, as you can see here, this rip wrap goes all the way down here. There's a concrete sidewalk that goes a real good distance down through here. So I'm gonna start here just kind of in the shade and we'll probably find some fish somewhere down through here, kind of all schooled up. I'm gonna make a short cast. It drops off pretty deep here on the riprap pretty quick, so I'm going to let that jig sink down and try to work it back where I'm hopefully staying above them rocks. We get down in them rocks, we can kiss them jigs goodbye. Now, we do have current flow. Fort Loudon Dam is around the corner there. They're running quite a bit of water, so it's pulling not only from the Tennessee River up this way, but also Teleco and the Little Tennessee River this way. I may have to kind of angle my casts here upstream and let that jig fall back down. Oh, right there, something hit me. My drag. What is this? Fish number one right here is a bluegill. That's a pretty good one too. 
Y'all know I like me some bluegill. I've been catching some good ones lately in my raw and uncut ultralight videos. I thought we'd probably get some good ones out here today on this riprap. There's a fish. I don't think this one's gonna be quite as big as the other one. That's another bite though. Bluegill, you lucky you getting caught early on in the, oh, he didn't even care about getting on this video. That ungrateful bluegill. I can't believe that. A bluegill that size don't always make my videos. You'd think he'd be a little bit more grateful for the opportunity. The bluegill say he didn't give a crap. He says he's gonna be a doctor or a lawyer or something. He ain't trying to be no social media star. That bluegill had ambition. They probably had him a lump on the head too after hitting that rock down there. Y'all wave over there at Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. Y'all remember that movie Overboard from the 80s? Goldie Hawn was a rich woman and, and she fell overboard and had amnesia and Kurt Russell tricked her into thinking she was his wife and then, spoiler alert, they end up together happily ever after. That's a pretty good movie. I think we had the VHS tape. There we go. There we go. That's a fish. Oh, that thing's... Well, look at him, buddy. He is dark. That's another one. Dark colored bluegill right there. Look at the colors on him. Say something to the camera. Fish, you got anybody you want to shout out? Any sponsors you want to plug? Nothing. He said he this fish right here is looking for some sponsors. If any of y'all out there want to put a sticker on him or something or paint your business name on his side he said he'll swim around like one of them airplanes in the sky saying eat at whatever steakhouse is, is paying them that bluegill do that for you i don't know if i could afford him i'd, I'd stamp catfish on him but i don't know that i could i don't know if i can afford him. the only thing i can afford is this rock right here i just got my jig hung in I can afford them all day long. There it came. I got out of it. Oh, man, that one hit me. There we go. It's been kind of sporadic down through here. I've just been kind of walking along kind of quickly and catching a fish here and there, a few dink taps, some smaller bluegill, but occasionally you come across one like that right there, which ain't a bad bluegill six to seven inch range like another cast over there it's kind of a little bit difficult to be able to feel the bites with the current kind of sweeping my line down it's kind of kind of the same scenario of of having the wind blow a bow in your line you kind of have to kind of have to keep your line a little bit taut to be able to feel here's another one just like that. Man, I finally got on a few right here. Kind of sporadic. Where's all your bigger friends at, Bluegill? He said he'll never tell. He said they'd beat him up. He said then Bluegill, it's like a gang or mafia or something, man. They can't, they can't rat. They said getting caught by me is far better than what would happen to him if that fish had told where his bigger friends are at. I'll tell you what, y'all. I'm going to move. We're going to get on this bike and go hit a different area. Between the bridge noise here and all these boats going by and the waves hitting the concrete here along the sidewalk, I don't even know how well y'all can hear me right now. Oh, boy, I'm about to get wet, man. Goodness gracious. Yeah, we're going to move. Let's go hit a different area. If nothing else, we'll at least get some peace and quiet. <laughs> All right. On to the next spot. Here we go. Well, that car's gone, so that guy that I thought was either asleep or dead, I guess he was asleep. That's good. Got some speed. 
23 miles an hour, 24 miles an hour right there. Let's go right over here and fish a minute and just see what's going on. We might get us a bite right over here. If not, we'll go on to the next spot. Get my kickstand down. If nothing else, we'll at least look good at this Civ Rock bike, man. Got some speed coming over through here. 24 miles an hour in style. I can dang near hit the speed limit on that bike. Let's see if we can make us some cash right quick before the, before the next boat comes through and pounds us with boat weight. Well, I have made a few casts here in between the endless boats going by, no fish caught, so I'm gonna move on to the next spot. Hopefully find a little bit of calmer water. All these waves keep crashing up here. Some of these boats go by, put off like daggone ocean waves, man. It's almost like you at the ocean, except, well, it ain't the ocean, and they ain't hot women in bikinis everywhere. I mean, you will occasionally see a woman in a bikini around here, but usually when you do, you don't want to the bikinis oftentimes about the size of curtains but uh <laughs> boy, i'll catch some hell over that but i'm gonna go over here there's a, a boat ramp over here it's got a dock and we'll ride over there if there's nobody over there i'll make a few casts around it it is a pretty busy dock so if there's people around people putting in boats we'll move on we'll go hit teleco dam it's a nice night for a bike ride anyway and it's a pretty good haul to get over there to Teleco Dam. So anyway, come with me. We're going to try to find some fish, y'all. Come with me. Let's do it. Yeah, there's a few people load boats over there. Let's go see if we can avoid some people and find some fish. make a few casts down in here but uh, I don't know maybe we can let's try it and see a little bit gonna be a tight window here with some trees we'll see if we can make it work doggone it look at this y'all <laughs> There we go. You know what, well, that's enough of this spot. Too tight a casting window here. Now I got my line on. Well, it's gonna be a daggone blooper fest here. Catching more trees than fish tonight, by gosh. All right, we're getting back on the move here, y'all. Let's go. Let's go over here to the dam. There it is, folks, Teleco Dam. Let's go see if we can catch a fish on it. Just trying to fish around this school of minnows right here. You can see them all right there on the surface of the water. Hopefully you can see them. I thought there might be something following them. I've made several casts here to dam, but just nothing happening. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again let's go hop on the bike and ride over here to the dock see what we can get hold of y'all need a chair somebody's left them a chair here that looks like a nice one too that thing probably run them ten dollars there at the store i'm gonna leave it just in case they remember it and come back for it that might be somebody's favorite chair Somebody's grandmama might have got them that thing. Might have been a Christmas present. All right, away we go. Boy, 
Boy, hard times, y'all. Hard times. I'll tell you what. Let's go back where we started, because over here at the dam, around the dock, is riprap here. I'm just getting occasional little tiny bluegill just pecking, but just nothing. Nothing going on, so... While we still got a little daylight left, let's go back over there to the riprap in the canal. See if we can get a few more bites. Oh, I took a bug right in the eye. Direct shot. Eyeball. Dang skeeters and gnats are out. I'm talented though, I can ride one handed, cleaning my eyeball out. I'll tell you y'all, hard times. Just about out of daylight. Gonna try to snatch a few more bluegill here along the riprap here at the canal. Other spot down here, didn't work out. Didn't hit the dock there at the boat ramp. Too many people. Could use a few less of those too. Then went over there, Teleco Dam. Nothing, nothing at the dam. Out of money of things loud. We need more boats like that out here on our water. Anyway, went over to the dam, struck out. Struck out at the dam, struck out at the ramp there along the riprap, nothing. Just small little bluegill taps the whole way. So, I'm gonna grab the rod here. We're gonna try to make a few casts. Oh, oh, boy, I'll snatch that one up. Oh goodness, well, there he went too. Another quick release. That fish right there knew he was running out of daylight. He was trying everything in the world. Get up here on the camera and worked himself free from the hook in the process, missed his opportunity. Not many fish have wanted to be on video today. Some days it's like that. Well, that one hit me. That's another, that's another small bluegill fighting above his weight class right there. I've caught so few fish this afternoon. That one's gone too, he didn't want no camera time. That's one perk, y'all, of catching a few fish is you go so long between bites that they, they feel a lot bigger than what they normally would. When you're catching fish all the time, you get accustomed to it. It takes bigger and bigger fish to, to get that same level of excitement going for you. But when you, when you had an afternoon like I've had today where you can't hardly get a bite, no matter where you go or what you do, all them bites feel a little bigger. I want this jig downstream now and kind of working it back to me. Oh, there's one. There's one. Doing like I was doing earlier, throwing it upstream and working it back. Wasn't getting me the results, so I said, by gosh, if what you're doing ain't working, do something different, you know? Can't get set in your ways. Say something to the camera, Bluegill. Can they see you? I don't know if they can see you or not. If they can, he had his moment of fame. If y'all can't see him, well, that fish will write a complaint about me. He'll be in a daggone complaint box. Give me a one-star review. A lousy photographer, poor lighting, he says. Wants a refund. That fish didn't pay me a dime. He still wants a refund. There's one. Y'all probably can't see it. 
we just about too dark to film. And I'm honestly surprised he's bluegill. Yeah, you'll never see him. These bluegill typically slow down about dark right here. So I'm surprised they'll be getting a bite or two. I guess I should have never left the riprap over here. This is the only place I caught fish. I should have just rode it out and worked it over here. There's just so many boats going through. It just, even fishing from the bank over here, it just kind of takes away from the experience. I'd rather be somewhere off by myself, getting some peace and quiet, you know? That's how I like to fish. All right, y'all, it is just about dark. I'm filming this closing here under the street light so I can have a little bit of lighting on this beautiful face. This is about the best looking thing you've seen all day because there sure ain't been enough fishing. Man, I stunk it up. But the bike ride was nice and a big thanks to Civ Rock for supplying me with this bike. Wish I could have got some more fish in this video, but kind of under the gun to get this video finished and uh, had to make it happen out here today. So hope you enjoyed it. It's a little weekend bonus video from Civ Rock. So check them out there. I'll have their website listed down in the video description below. Uh, full details of the bike. I'm a terrible bicycle reviewer. I'm just a casual person, but hopefully somebody like me, real world experience, you can uh, gain some value from that. But be sure to check them out there uh, at the website down below. And uh, I'll try to do a little better in the fishing on the next video. But I'm gonna pack up the bike here, head home, finish watching the ball game. It's Tennessee, Akron tonight. We're like 47 and a half point favorites. And I'm like, I'd rather just come out here and catch some fish than to watch that mess. So uh, anyway, I'll catch a second half of it anyhow. But. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, we'll do better fishing in the next one. I'll see you then.